I've got two bits of metal. This is an aluminium cylinder, so long, and a similar cylinder of neodymium. And these two are going to pass through a copper cylinder. Can you see down it? Yeah, yeah. right, all the way through. Now then, this is the copper tube with an aluminium cylinder. I'm going to put it in there and no force will be exerted on this apart from gravity. So doing a quick sum that's going to fall down in about a third of a second. So just about caught it. Oh dear. So that's how quickly the aluminium falls. Now I'm going to put the neodymium in. Neodymium is one of these new magnets. It's incredibly powerful. One, two, three, four, after about a count of four, a slow count of four, maybe four seconds, it comes out. So this is more than ten times as long as the aluminium. As this magnet falls down, say gets to there, then it's inducing currents which will be coming round this way. And these currents coming round this way will induce a magnetic field pushing in the opposite direction. So as this comes down, this imaginary magnet that I've got is going to be pushing in the other direction, holding it up, holding it up, stopping it from accelerating. And it gets to a, a finite velocity which it travels all the way down the cylinder. I'm going to put the copper tube inside an aluminium cylinder. I'm going to put the neodymium magnet in. And the question is, What's going to happen as the neodymium magnet falls through that little aluminium cylinder? Is it going to stay still? Is it going to be pulled up? Is it going to move at all? Or does it just stay stationary? At first sight, you might think nothing can permeate through this copper cylinder. Nothing could happen at all. It might shield it. But this is happening very, very slowly. So I'm now going to drop it and you can see what happens. And you can see as the magnet went past this, it pushed it down. Even though it wasn't touching anything, it pushed it down. If I do that again in case that wasn't so good. All right. This isn't about magnetic attraction as you would attract a, a paper clip. This, if I move this very slowly, the aluminium does not pull towards the neodymium magnet. This only works when the magnetic field that comes out of here threads through this hole. If I put it on the side, nothing happens, but if it threads through the hole, then it will move. If I move the magnet down to here, the magnetic field is not threading through this hole in any appreciable amount. So you put it there and it doesn't attract at all. If I put it there, then the magnetic field th threads through the hole. But if I move it very, very slowly inwards, nothing much happens. But if I move it out quickly, without touching the sides, the magnetic field is changing rapidly the part that's threading through that hole. That's inducing a current in the outside. They're attracting each other. And that's weird because this is without anything happening, a force between these two, which depends upon the speed at which I pull that away. What do you see in there? That's nothing. So why don't we drop something through it and just make sure it's empty, right? Okay, okay, okay. this is not a magnet. So this isn't a magnet. And then but lift it up bit by bit to the point where it's just... Ready? That's steaming. Up, and, and then it starts boom. to float in the air. 